Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Video number 18. I'm outside with my kid. He says it's too cold out. Uh, it's not that cold. We're picking up sticks in the yard, uh, trying to do some chores and stuff. Um, just wanted to make a video really quick and tell you about the day today. All right, it's Wednesday. So Wednesday is the third day of the week. That means today we're gonna do the third DOL, Wednesday and we will do the third page of our spelling packet. I'm gonna make this super easy for you today because I want you guys to catch up on where we are. We will also do two math pages, and I'll do those with you. Now, some of you might feel overwhelmed. Like, I have too much going on, Mr. D. I don't know what's going on here. I got a stack of work I didn't do yet. Well, relax, I'll tell you about that. Moving forward, the goal is to just try your best. That's it. If you don't try at all, then it's a problem. But if you're gonna try your best, that's all that matters. So remember that. I can't go to your house and double check if you're doing stuff, okay? I can't. Physically, I can't go to your house and check on your packets. I can't do that. But I'm gonna trust you that you're doing them, or at least trying them. Okay, and if it's like too much work for you, then just do a little bit of it. I want you to do something and communicate with me. That's all I'm asking. There should be no time here where you're feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, and stressed out because of work. And if that's the case, if you're feeling stressed out because you have too much going on, then you just tell me, Mr. D, I tried my best. Message me. Say, I'm trying my best. I did not finish it all, but I'm trying my best. And that's all that matters. And that will be okay. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better. I don't want there to be any situations where you're feeling overwhelmed. Okay, and then today we'll do two pages of our math packet. We'll do a page of our spelling packet. And we'll do our DOL. And that's it. If you feel like you need some time to catch up, great. If you're already caught up, make sure you turn in all of the assignments by just clicking the turn in button. That's it. Once you turn it in, I'll give you 100% on each assignment because that's participation. Okay, if you have any questions, message me, email me. Uh, if your parents have questions, tell them to message me on the Remind app that I have access to and I could actually call them. I can use this special app that I downloaded to call the parents and I can talk to them if they need to talk to me. So let them know if they want to talk to me. That's it. That's easy. I can do that. Hi. Little guy wants to say hi. Say hi. 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 All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I forgot to tell you one more thing. I messaged Mr. Novoselsky. If you're getting assignments from him, I want you to know, you can try your best to turn those in, okay? But I will be adapting those assignments. Like the videos that I had you watch yesterday on the election of 1860, that was an adapted version of his 10% summary. So doing the work with me here when I do a social studies assignment is going to give you the grade in his class. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to take his assignments and I'm going to shrink them down and make them more towards our level and more towards a way that we can understand it in an easier, simpler version. And if you can do those assignments with me, or at least attempt to, if you can try to do them, then I will give you the grade in his class. And I, all I have to do is message him. And I told him I'm gonna message him once a week and say who's doing the work and who's not. And then he's gonna give you a participation grade. That's it, that's a pass or fail. So if you do the work with me, like you're doing, that's great. You will pass his class as well. So do not stress about that either, okay? Okay, today is April 15th. We are in the middle of April right now. First thing we're gonna do is look at our DOL. And we're gonna look at Wednesday here. Okay, Wednesday. Here we get here we go. Let's get started. Us liked the whole collection of animals him showed us. This sounds like the worst sentence ever, so let's fix it. 
us liked the whole, we liked the whole. So we're gonna change us to we liked the whole is, that's the hole that's in the ground. We need the W-H-O-L-E. That's the whole collection of animals. Him showed us. He showed us. Period. We liked the whole collection of animals he showed us. Let's rewrite it with a capital W. We liked the whole collection of animals he showed I'm screwing up us period ran out of space there we go number two we seen frogs snakes lizards and turtles we saw capital we saw not seen we saw frogs, comma, snakes, comma, lizards, comma, and turtles. When you put a comma there, it helps separate those three things. We saw frogs, comma, snakes, comma, lizards, comma, and turtles. Period. Okay. This is the math page we're gonna do. Your half, my half. Now, remember the ruler thing from yesterday? If you don't have a ruler, that's okay. Find any straight edge, any straight line of something, okay? It could be a folder, it could be a piece of plastic, anything. And we're gonna use that to draw a straight line through the center of each object. This is very, very easy, so let's just go ahead and get it done. Half of this square, whoosh, cut it right in half. Half of this oval, I'm gonna cut it right in half. Half of this rectangle, I'm gonna cut it right in half. Half of this circle, cut it in half. Half of this hexagon, in half. Why is it a hexagon? It has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, not an octagon. That's a hexagon. Okay, cut half, cut it half of here, and half of here, and a half of here. This is easy. Go ahead and do this one on your own. I don't know why this is even in the packet, but this is kind of fun. I like it. Okay, I cut them in half. We're going to flip the page and do the next one. Here we go. If you were to flip the page, you will see this butterfly thing here. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and do this with you, but I want you to try it on your own. I'll get started. If I see a shape on this side, I'm gonna try my best to mimic and do the same shape on this side, okay? And I am going to just follow along and connect the dots. So here's the antenna. And I'm kind of going to look to see where it goes and do the same thing on this side. Now, the wings are going to be kind of hard, but I will just try. Maybe you should use a pencil. Pencils might be easier than a pen, just in case you make a mistake. Oh, shoot. This is not easy, but, you know, it's kind of fun. All right, so go ahead. And try. Oh, that's not good. I'm not doing well. All right. So this is just kind of for fun. There we go. Better than I thought. I still have to connect the dots here. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm, I'm not going to say this is the easiest thing in the world, but try your best. Okay, go ahead and put that away when you're done in your math folder. Do not lose it. And uh, we will talk to you soon. See ya.